subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscribe button. Click the bell button and enjoy the latest uploads from our channel. Piracy at sea has grown to such global proportions that many countries around the world are eager to respond. <laughs> the sea has always been challenging, and seafarers have quite enough to do as they go about their daily work aboard. To combat the alarming increase in piracy off the Somali coast, the European Union established its first naval force, Operation Atalanta, with its headquarters based in the UK. As part of this, the Maritime Security Center, Horn of Africa, or MSCHOA, has been created and includes civilian merchant navy liaison officers embedded within the military command structure. It's a million square miles of ocean. Uh, we have 30,000 plus movements a year just in the Gulf of Aden alone. That doesn't include those that are running down from India towards South Africa or people transiting from Eastern Africa across the Far East. So a huge amount of shipping is going on, crucial to world trade. Where I have warships available, we meet them in the Gulf of Aden. We transit through a corridor which is internationally recognized as the best, as the safest in a difficult area route through that region. So we work hand in hand. Uh, to make sure that information is put across. And on top of that, in terms of pure military aspects, we go out and try and deter and disrupt some of the pirate activity which is taking place in the Somali Basin. So it's a three-pronged mission that I have. Food and aid to Somalia, supporting vulnerable shipping and where I can, uh, deterring and disrupting pirates. Whilst piracy off Somalia has made the headlines recently, it occurs in many other regions too. Most notably Southeast Asia, the Indian subcontinent, West Africa, and South America. The attacks may take the form of armed robbery when at anchor. Pirates simply intend on stealing the contents of the ship's safe and anything else they can easily get their hands on. Or, as in the case of Somalia, piracy operating as a business, ships and the crews being held for ransom. When it's known a passage will take the ship through piratical waters, our master must ensure at the port of departure that the vessel's defenses are at their highest state of readiness. Whilst in port, it's important the ship complies with the ISPS code. The monitoring and restriction of gangway access should be rigorously enforced. This includes identity checks for local personnel and the photographing of unknown visitors. In preparing for sea, the ship's security alert button should be double checked. And if the vessel has to sail through dangerous waters, searchlights should also be tested. They may help to dazzle pirates in case they try a night attack. The laying of barrier wire and razor wire at vulnerable places. Blocking of access ways. Use of audio devices and water sprays. Suitable positioning of realistic dummies. All these can show that the ship is well prepared and this may deter the pirates. If possible, reduce the ship's ballast. An increase in freeboard makes it more difficult for pirates to get aboard. When sailing, the master should consider the best use of the ship's automatic identification system. While it's essential to have it on if attacked, the amount of information broadcast should be minimized. Reduce data to include only the ship's identity and its speed and course. This will assist any forces coming At sea, keeping an alert watch is always important. But such awareness should be heightened when entering known piratical waters. Off Somalia, if a sighting is made, the master should immediately contact the UK MTO in Dubai. Elsewhere, the IMB Piracy Reporting Centre and any other regional centres may be the first contact points. 
the earlier a suspicious boat is seen, the better, either by visual contact or radar. At night, good image intensifiers can significantly improve your ability to detect such craft at greater distances. Pirates often use small high-speed skiffs or inflatables, coming in fast and at an angle to surprise their chosen target. They operate from motherships, which are able to go hundreds of miles. At this time, the whole crew should be alerted and instructed to go to the piracy safe muster point. This should be as secure as possible and stocked with food and water. A roll call should be carried out and once complete, the bridge notified. In some instances, the pirates will not give up or there could be multiple attacks. If boarding looks the most likely outcome, the master should make a mayday call on VHF channel 16 and send a pre-written distress message via DSC and Inmasat C.